Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic encouragement comes from our brother Garris Elkins from Medford, Oregon, who surrounds you. The people we choose to surround our lives with, who we give us counsel and who provide direction, it's an important decision to make. If we are insulated by the words and impressions of foolish people, we will be led away into error. This applies to all relationships and positions of authority. Proverbs 25 offers us insight into what this means. Surrounding ourselves with people of wisdom and honesty, that's a safeguard. If we discover someone is not wise and honest, we don't throw them away, but we must remove them from the place of authority in our lives. We are the only ones who can make such a decision. It requires setting boundaries that must be in place for our protection. Verse 5 says, Remove the wicked from the king's court, and his reign will be made secure by justice. If we have allowed ourselves to be insulated by people who fail to tell us the truth when we need it most, they will bring a wrong spirit into the relationship. They will not revive our spirits when we are down. Trustworthy messengers refresh like snow in summer. They revive the spirit of their employer. Verse 13. Unwarranted praise of our life. It's like overeating. It's like gorging ourselves. Verse 16 says, Do you like honey? Don't eat too much or it will make you sick. To surround ourselves with people will hold us to the diet of integrity. It will keep our spirit fit when the temptations of life come and invite us to a meal, a meal that may be harmful to our spiritual life. Friend, will you pray with me into this encouragement? Heavenly Father, thank you for the wisdom we can find in Proverbs 25. Lord, I pray right now that my friend and I would make steps to do an audit. Friend, maybe that's the application today that we would do an audit of those people in our lives. Lord, I pray that you would bring more people into our lives that surround us with wisdom and honesty. Lord, I pray for more people who would be filled with the Holy Ghost and who would believe you and speak your truth, Father. Lord, I pray that you would do the work to remove and also do the healing work if it's someone close. I thank you, Father, that you allow us, not only, Father, for, for us looking at me, but also help me to be that person to someone else. Help me to be someone who speaks of God's authority. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, that we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Lord, may we be ones who share the same to another. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, amen.